Hello everyone and welcome back to the DeerCast. Uh, today, really excitingly, um, I have chopped out my old Houskin mod uh, that I had on my Tika. Uh, nothing wrong with it in terms of the Houskin mod itself, except for the fact I managed to drop it uh, on some concrete and damage the end of it, so it was time to replace it. Um, I've got a little Freire and Devic uh, mod on my kit plow, my Merkle K3, and absolutely love it. Um, really like the aesthetics of it, so thought it was time to get a Freire and Devic for the Tika. So, this is their new Ultimate Silence 3D, and this is the 231 model. Um, differs from their previous models because um, it's made it's 3D printed and it's made out of grade four titanium. Um, weighs next to nothing, it's 231 grams, hence the name. Um, so there it is. Uh, not used it yet, so we're literally about to take uh, this out on the range, put it on the Tika, and see what happens. Okay. So you'll just see uh, shot a few shots through this and sort of first impressions um, are really, really nice mod. Um, it has shifted my point of impact, which is no criticism of the mod. Um, I've had that whenever I've uh, changed from one moderator to another. Um, annoyingly, I haven't brought my Allen keys uh, to change the ballistic turret on my scope, uh, so I can't click it down. Uh, so there's no point showing you kind of groups that we've, we've achieved with this. And to be honest, it's probably not a fair reflection on, on a moderator in terms of accuracy anyway. Um, the only thing sort of left to say um, about these mods, the sort of advantage of them that I can see is that they're, they're a sealed unit, so supposedly need no, uh, no maintenance, no taking them apart. I will probably still stick some uh, Napier Silo and Save uh, down at every now and then. Um, so in theory, very robust. Because they're made out of grade uh, four, I think it is, uh, printed titanium, they're supposed to sort of fairly well last forever. Um, but also stand up to um, higher shot rates in terms of more uh, more shots one after the other, whereas the other Freire and Devic mods have very much been sort of focused at the hunting market and sort of doing one or two shots every now and then. Um, in terms of the kind of noise suppression, I don't think I noticed a huge amount of difference uh, between this and my house can either sort of positive or negative, but as I said, I've probably only fired five shots through it, so time will tell, to be honest. Um, didn't alter the, um, the balance of the rifle at all. I, I've got to admit, my house can mod before was, was very kind of cylindri cylindrical, whereas this on the end actually just aesthetically looks so much nicer. Um, and it's exactly the same uh, length as my previous house can mod, but actually the, the barrel probably sort of, or the muzzle is about there. So actually that much of it is hanging back over the barrel, um, whereas that much is protruding. So it does feel quite a bit shorter uh, when it's actually attached on the end of the rifle. Um, Harry is due to get one of these as well, and um, this is the 231. Uh, Harry's due to get the slightly larger model, um, so we'll do a little bit of an update for you um, in due course on this one, but also once Harry's got his mod as well. So stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching, uh, and as per usual, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe.